Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined tonight by Christian and Anna. Good evening. So, a few things. Against my better judgment tonight, we're having a show, even though, uh, you know, some people have uh, their favorite uh, football teams uh, playing tonight. Um, but uh, we decided to do it. But that's not the reason we're late. We're late because a certain someone else was running a little bit late. Just, just to say. I, I decided to try a food place I've never tried before. And I what didn't was, want to let it get cold. What was the food place? The local place, Strips, down the street. Oh, how I've never it? had Strips before. Uh, it was good. I like it. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. of really good breading. Delicious we've, breading. We've meant to try it. So I guess if you're ever in the Kansas City area and want to try a local chicken strip place called Strips, there you go. It has my endorsement. I think it is satisfyingly okay. <laughs> There, there you go. That is a ringing endorsement right there. That's so. the way I endorse things. All right. Well, they so they have a uh, a pork tenderloin sandwich, which is what I was told to try. But it is literally that big. The pork tenderloin is like that's what a pork tor- like that's a pork tenderloin. But it's huge. That's how would you put that on a sandwich? Like every if you didn't have a pork tenderloin that was as big as like you know, a plate or whatever, it wouldn't be a, per- a good pork tenderloin. I don't know if I've ever had a pork tenderloin a before. Oh, yeah. No, like, if, if you go around, you know, the Midwest and whatnot, it's like any pork t- good p- pork tenderloin that you get is going to be the size is of enormous. Butter. And so, okay. yeah, so, like, the bun is normal size, but then the, like, t- pork tenderloin itself is, like, you know, huge. Enormous. So you get, like, really three, big. Three meals out of it, yeah. Yeah, That's the way it is. So, anyway, it's absurd. And then we're also uh, tonight joined by Old Man Christian here. So I'm so birthday, old buddy. now, guys. I'm oh so yeah, old. like the rest of us. You're older than us now. He just skipped ten years, right? No, I'm in the same decade as Anna now. You are. Uh, it's true. Yeah, we're both in the the three the three decade. Unfortunately, you never be in the same decade as me, so there you go. No, it will never happen. Sorry. Just, just mm. too old. Yes, I turned mm. 30 yesterday. Oof, <laughs> man. Tell you what. It's a successful goal. Good job. So, I, I did yeah. it. I yeah. came out the other side, and I feel pretty much the same, so I, I guess I'm okay. Yep. You have lived to see a Dracula Transformer. Yes, mine is also in bat mode. He's a that bat. Is a That's amazing that you guys both have them in, in bat yes. mode. So I guess starting off before we like get into the bat modes or alt modes and, and all oh, that, yeah, the packaging. I do want to talk about the packaging. I think the packaging on this is really, really neat. Um, so this is the... Um, there's no plastic in the packaging. It's like, you know, Hasbro is switching over, I think, this next year to where it's all uh, cardboard and, and whatnot. And so the thing that's really neat about this is it is like a, um, a VHS tape. And yeah. so, like, the back, it, like, slides out. And the thing that I thought was really neat was is it doesn't actually slide all the way out. It yeah, like it can't come out. Just like a VHS tape because of the way that they do the flap at the top so i thought that also was really it means cool. you can't get the instructions out if you needed them but you can get it out because they're in there they're in there and right. the flaps you have to cut are inaccessible you can because they're still, still inside the box yeah i unwedged it so i could get the instructions out but um they don't tell you how to put the cape on right, so don't expect that. <laughs> it is a cool box. I, I do like this box. No, it's a great box. It's really I fun. would not mind if they did more VHS style whatever. It's like if they did if they did a whole Black book. Lagoon or something. Like Well, I think yeah. it'd be cool if you just did this style packaging for like a bunch of Transformers. Sure. You know, and just had it and then you could have uh the Brainstorm. Know, like on the sides and whatnot. You ready for this? Do you remember when you were growing up? Aka, do I remember when I was growing up and went to Blockbuster to get all the Transformers movies? Right. You have Transformers series on VHS with the FHE series. Put those covers on these. Correct. Put some cool Transformer in it. I'll buy every single one. 
All of them. Well, we're not the ones that talk to anyway, because we usually buy every single one anyway. I mean, but okay, but I would love them. It would, it would I would still hug be them. I would cry. I would like it. As long as they came with unique figures. If these came with repackaged figures, I wouldn't buy it, but I'm, I'd like it if they came with new stuff. So oh, I feel absolutely, like this I'd is buy it. I feel like this is the crossover that, that no one asked for. That we're all somewhat surprised by. <laughs> that it um, is happiest with. Um, but yeah, like it's cool. And I'm really curious whether or not they will continue to do more of the Universal Monsters. I guess it is the 90th anniversary of Dracula, according to the box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. So. I would I would guess that's correct. But yeah, I would have not have picked this, uh, or I would have not guessed it as far as one of the crossovers. Yes. When this was revealed, not revealed, but when the listings were revealed as Project Bat, everyone was very hopeful that it was, you know, Batman, Batmobile kind of bats. stuff. But it was not. It was a different bat. And we even found out that it came with a cape. So we were like, it's clearly Batman. Batman has a cape. But no, it was freaking Dracula. <laughs> No one suspected Dracula. How random well, I guess is that's that? How he gets you in the end. He he uh he bites you because no one suspects him. It's true. You just think he's actually, a dapper, sexy man, but really, this is, this is Draculus. Like, that is his name officially. Yes. He is a repaint and pretty significant remold of Titans Return Mind Wipe. He is. He is no longer a headmaster. I did not know that until I opened him. Because I figured they would, they just designed a new headmaster and repainted it and done. But it's actually pretty significant. Oh, yep. not being a headmaster that makes these molds look so much better. <sighs> he does have headmaster compartment though. It does. Just, it's st- just, still there in his belly. He can keep that in his heads. I was gonna say, just imagine if like all of these didn't have like like Galvatron. I mean that that would actually be a passable Galvatron. Oh yeah. If we didn't. We didn't have all that crap on it. We well, we got Master. Super Megatron out of that, and that was yep. that was the demonstration of that. True. Yep. True, true. No, and this Not one didn't Master. need that treatment as much as that did, but it's still improved, for sure. So well, yeah, I mean, Christian, my wife was a headmaster, so it made sense. Right. Christian doesn't have his cape on to complete the wings, and I do. So the cape just kind of offers a little bit of a fill-in with some more cloth wings. I didn't feel like a bat would wear a cape, so I did not put one Well, it isn't bat. wearing the cape. It's helping fill in the, like, flappiness of bat wings. Well, I get this boat, it thing... isn't a cape. Okay. It's his wings. What, one thing I will say that the, the cape does help out with is, like, any any of the additional kibble and, and whatnot that's, like, hanging out in the back, you can just, like, throw the cape over and then you're good to go. Yeah, because he has pretty bad back kibble in bat mode, being that his head's just kind of there. So Yeah, that was a bizarre choice. Yeah, because... Here it is, by the way. It's right here. There's his head. But you can't see it on mine, see? Like, this is why I think it probably would have been fine just still being a headmaster, because then this wouldn't hang off the back for no reason. All you gotta do is throw a piece of fabric over it. (laughs) Everything's fine now. See, there's a head underneath, but you don't know. Yeah, it's a funny choice, but it works. So, fun fact that even Rob <laughs> didn't know when I told him about this. This is not the first time Transformers has attempted to make a Dracula figure. There was an attempt in G1, or at least concept art in G1, to make a couple of the Universal monsters, including Dracula, the creature from the Black Lagoon, and the fly. Ooh, the fly. Oh. They came out in art books like around the turn of the century, so yeah. it's not it's not common knowledge, but it's not uncommon. You can find them on the wiki; they're pretty cool. Those are cool ideas. I like the fly. So the one thing that somewhat annoys me just slightly on this mold is is that it does have really cool paint, you know, but then that paint it accentuates the stamps, uh, the the product stamps. Uh, from us, so you really, you can really yes, tell like does. all these, all of these 
I don't know if Anna's going to be able to tell. Yeah, there's a nice product stamp on the inside of the wing there. They didn't used to do product stamps like that, and I don't understand why they started and why they don't stop. Yeah, I know it's not great. Well, it's somewhat annoying. I wish they could have done it on the other side of the wing so that it's not like, you know. Would that have made it exposed and as robot-like, though? Yes. Yeah. But if they put it on, like, the inner inner leg, you know, okay. You just can't win, then. Right, but it is in the Don't put it on there, because you don't need it there. Yeah, for that, too. Oh, That's how you feel about the, the cape, bottom apparently. Of the foot? What, what about Mouth the inside of the, of, the, of the foot? How about that? There you go. So, you do have to take the cape off to transform it, I think. I I feel yes. like I you could do so, just yeah. about anything you want with the cape in bat mode, because um, it doesn't really matter. The bat mode is cool. Like, I don't know if we've ever talked about the bat mode before, because we didn't talk about mind wipes. That's way before our time. But... It's pretty okay. Like, I honestly think it's, the cape really helps it. Because it really helps right. the wings be continuous. And helps you ignore things like the fact that his feet are just part of the wings and other kind of egregious things. Yeah, but he's supposed to be a replica of what Mind Wipe looked like in G1, not a replica of an actual bat. Which... Depending on how you feel about that choice, he's going to be good. So now he wears a cape. And it's all about it. Now he wears a cape. A bat wears a cape. Except in Christian's house where that doesn't happen. I don't think bats wear clothing. I just don't think they do. Maybe they do. Since you bats would want to wear clothing. I guess. They would develop modesty for sure. Okay. So after bats develop modesty, they then become people. Like this. This is, the dude. this is the yeah. guy. And he has a charming face. Yeah, his face sculpt is just super fun. And they re- remolded this whole piece, I think, this whole chest piece here. And I it, it is, looks yeah. like like the, yeah, the top of a tuxedo coat or something. Yeah. Like yeah. It's very dapper. A, a proper man. Yeah, I don't know they... if he's supposed to be like that one dude from the ninety years ago movie, or it's supposed to be Christopher Lee, or both. But like, I if he's the he's a good looking guy, he's the ninetieth anniversary. He should be the Bella Lugosi one. That one, thank you. I lost the name. But I think he can be all the Draculas because I just don't see them doing different versions for different Dracula actors. That does seem like a bit much. <laughs> But yeah, the, uh, the articulation, I mean, you can definitely tell that, you know, this is an older toy, of course. It doesn't have the same waist swivel that uh, the new ones have. The ankle doesn't have the side-to-side tilt like it did. It does have front-to-back because, you know, that's b- because of transformation. But, uh, but yeah, it's... Um, you it's funny, you know, look at this thing and you definitely think it has ankle tilt, just the way the feet are built. Right. And you're like, oh no, it doesn't. Yes, yeah. for a 2020 mold or a 2021 mold, it would have ankle tilt with these feet. For sure. It does not. Yeah. It's got cape though. My uh, my legs are a little bit like loose. Not, um, it's not mine horrible. are too. It's not, I mean, you know, whatever. It's not that bad, bad but mine are a little bit. loose. Yeah. I you definitely had worse. Which is mind why it came with, and it's got yep. some cool red paint at the on the barrel. The paint is pretty it's neat. Hot, both, yeah. I don't know. It's cool. This claw thing is also neat because it's claws, and it's like, oh, he's gonna stab you. Right. Yeah, it's neat because as an homage to the movie, they tried to make him kind of black and white, but they gave him the red to be edgy. So it's a fun touch to me. Because yeah. he is largely a black and white figure with red highlights, which is very vampire. I think yes. if I wasn't holding the weapons, you could uh, make his hands hold the little holes in the cape right here, and he could like hold his cape in front of him. Yeah, he could do cool. different cool. things. That's long enough, long enough to do that. <laughs> 
It also has a specifically molded piece for the cape. I don't know if it's it's going it to be black on black. Hard to tell. But there's like a, a peg tab thing. There's It matches up with a hole in the cape just to hold it in there, right yeah. there. And it also goes through the, the wings go through the cape the too. Wings, yeah. It's a neat little mechanism. And that helps yeah. stabilize it so you can do more of the like vampire stereotypical poses with the cape. It also makes me know for sure that the cape wasn't like an afterthought. Like they designed the whole package together, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Normally with, you know, add on accessories like this that weren't part of the original mold. It's like, Oh, just, just throw it on and you know, they'll, they'll figure it out, I guess. But <laughs> nope, it's designed to have it. It's also fun to have him run around with the little tiny weens too. Yeah. Just to be kind of a dorky little demon man instead of a proper vampire. What do you got to do? It's fun because he's got the pointed ears. He's got the like kind of sort of fangs. He's got all the like weird random vampire tropes from the years. He does. And of course, he's got those fun. adorable red eyes. Which Lucas will be able to show better. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, like Lucas said at the top of the show, this is a crossover that probably no one asked for, but it exists. It is here. And it is nifty. I don't think it's by any means like a necessity to have for everyone's collection, but he's cool. I didn't specifically ask for this, but if I had known that I could, I would have asked for it. Like, I would ask for a whole supplement of vampires if I could have it. So, I mean, I'm happy. I mean, I recently got zombies and skeletons. Now I have a vampire. Well, th- this can lead your skeleton zombie army. So, there you go. He's joining the undead army. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's definitely going to be like their their drug dealer or something. I don't know what Dracula sells them, but he sells them something. Okay, I can't remember on this. How much extra was this over like, normal retail? What was it? I think he was like thirty bucks, thirty one. I think bucks. he's like thirty one fifty retail. It's something weird something like, like that. that. But then but, he like immediately went on sale when he released, unless you pre ordered him, but. I feel like it's, yeah, like, like I feel like this is going to be one of those things where, now I can't remember, is it actually showing up in stores? It uh, did. Yeah. So Not I don't know. Past, but up. it did. I'm, I'm curious, like, how much, like, how widely available it will be. It's kind of like that, uh, the X-Men one, I think was pretty decently discounted, wasn't it? Oh, good God, yeah. So... It's been um, down two and past fifty percent off in the last couple yes. months. I bought it for thirty one bucks for Black Friday. I, yep. I feel like that X Men one. I would only want to buy that to put it back in the box. Like I, I kind of don't want to even have my loose one just because like I don't really like it that much as a figure. I think it is a cool display piece. Like if you just have it in the box. Whereas, like, I feel like all these other ones, like, I enjoy. But I think that Except part... Maverick. We don't oh. talk about Maverick. Wait, Ma- what are you even talking about Maverick? I, exactly. I don't even know what you are referring to. I'm the only one of us who bought that thing, and I do not own it anymore. It was bad. It looks bad. Yeah. This isn't Maverick. bad, though. I, do I, buy like, Dracula's. It's, it's funny, because I, like don't even think of it like it doesn't even cross my mind about that maverick one and that one like showed up and disappeared and like i don't know that that could actually be worth a decent amount of money because there was like one run and you know if someone wants to complete all the stuff i don't like down the road i'm not saying now but um that's very healthy lucas like sometimes i wonder if like you go a little too far sometimes but that's definitely some self-control there, just avoiding Maverick. Boy, I tell you what. But you know what? I think the difference is, is that if Maverick was sitting at Target right now, ah, and I yeah. was in there, because like, I've had that issue with some of the Kingdom stuff, where I, they were sitting on the peg, and I was like, nope, I'm not going to get it. And then it's like, oh, well, it's on sale. Like, I'll, I'll go and get it. But... Um. But uh, what I was going to say, though, is is that um, 
the X pants or whatever was, you know, based on a studio series mold and the leader of that, like not a fun one. And so like, it was probably one of the ones where it's like, I just don't enjoy Whereas like the rest of these are all made on generations molds. And so they're fun to mess with. So. Very nice. But yeah, I think crossovers is cool. I think it needs to keep going forever. I, I don't know that I would have asked ever for something this off the wall, but I'm glad it's here. Yeah, I don't really want any of the other classic Universal monsters. Like, it'll be fun if they get made, but, like, they're not really something I'm into. I would like Creature from the Black Lagoon from Tyler Turns Skull Cruncher to go with his buddy here. That'd be fine. I mean, they could always do the Wolfman, right? Easy. I was going to say, it would be kind of fun to, like, redo all the Headmasters as, you know, the Universal monsters a little bit. At least the Decepticons would all make right. good right. Universal monsters. Yep. Oh, I guess yeah. Weird Wolf is the Wolfman, right? Yeah. 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 But I, I, I don't think that the this one or, doesn't work. <laughs> I, I was gonna say I don't feel like this one just because it's like its own thing. I feel like I don't necessarily know that you need it to like complete your crossover collection. No, probably no. not because it's not like the others. It's not an '80s pop culture reference. Right. This is like an early 1900s pop culture reference. Right. <laughs> but it's still so neat. I, I want more. I want them to leave the 80s. Yeah, me too. I like. I, I guess they already have not... a Jurassic Park, technically. Right. But... I was say right, Jurassic right, Park right. was an 80s. The yeah, no, it's but it's that same X-Pans, like kind of. Was that 80s? Like, or would you say it's more 90s? Uh, I guess That's it's more true. 90s because it's based X-Men on X-Men is forever, yeah, though. Right. And it's a 90s animated show. So I guess they've got 80s and 90s, but I mean, they're still targeting the childhoods of their like main collector demographic right, right now. And I like the fact that they dug deep into something that like I'm sure some of us grew up watching black and white monster movies, but you know, this is this is a little further back than most of our childhoods are gonna go. I'd really like to know where this came from. Like who was in charge of like, did, did Universal approach Hasbro for this after they did? Does Universal well, have Jurassic Park, I Phil, guess? Phil was saying that NECA is doing a Universal Monster Ninja Turtle crossover toy. So I don't know, maybe if they're already doing that and they're like, you know, kind of doing it for a couple lines. Oh, somebody's, I guess a Universal is pushing something, which is cool. I mean, I'm glad. But like, this was. I mean, this is a very odd release. I'm again, I'm happy it's here. It's very neat, but man, I would really like to know the story of the behind the scenes of how this came to be. The one thing I'll say about this release too is, is I'd rather get these like thirty dollar releases. Say you have to pay a little bit extra for the exclusivity and like the crossover license and all that kind of thing. Like the Jurassic Park one, and I know we haven't reviewed that yet, but it's like it's a little tougher to swallow the price of it just because I think what's it was it a hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. And so it's like, okay, that's a like this is like kinda like ah oh, thirty, you know, whatever, you know, Christmas gift kinda like you can justify it a little bit easier than a hundred and ten where it's like you really had to think like, do I want that? Whereas this is kind of... I did not go on that. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I agree with that. Like, it's... This is a little marked up, like all the crossovers have been, but it it doesn't feel as bad. You definitely don't want to try to justify it with the cape, though. Because as someone who really likes the way the cape makes the figure look, it does require a decent amount of tweaking to get it to lay in a specific way because it is just a very generic piece of stretchy fabric. And I don't see it lasting. Like, I don't see this piece of fabric, especially if you play with your figures like I do. I don't see it lasting the long run. Like, I am very worried that I'm going to rip this thing. I think it's funny that, like, 95% of Transformers fans probably... is going to be totally fine with the cape. And Anna's like, oh, no, like, you know, as I put this cape in a thousand different poses... Well, here's the thing, like I, before I was really deep in Transformers collecting, after I was into Transformers collecting the first time, I was a very serious doll collector 
And I know the difference between good clothes that you don't have to replace and clothes that you can afford easily, but you're going to end up destroyed after putting them on and off a few times. And this is in that second category that I wouldn't be shocked if on my like 10th transformation that I accidentally ripped it. Right. But I mean, to be fair, I would uh, assume that most of the cloth goods it comes with, you know, mainline toys and whatnot are going to be similar to, to that. Probably. You know I mean? Like, I don't think that it's, it's necessarily like, for me, I thought it was completely fine. Like, and I don't think I will have any issues whatsoever, but again, I am not, you know, messing with the Cape as much as, as you are. So. If one of those upgrade companies that likes to make the upgrades, DNA or whatever, made a like nice cape with proper hems and everything, I would definitely buy it. Wow. Oh my God. That would be. Hey, someone made a freaking trench coat for Nightbeat. Well, mm. no, I could totally see someone making an upgrade cape or whatnot, but not DNA. Like, I, it just seems like that's such a, <laughs> not niche, them, no. a niche thing or whatever that it would be someone on eBay that's, that's doing it, not. You know, not the Yeah, but I want fancy. I want nice quality. I want red lighting. I want velvet red lighting. So you could have a thirty dollar cape for the thirty dollar figure? That's right. That's right. I want Dracula hand, needs to be hand stylish. Stitched. Hand stitched and whatnot, so anyway. Oh my goodness. If they're I'm considering that. If you would want a fancy cape for him. Yeah. He you is mentioned the red lining. Looking. I'm like, hmm. Like he's red got a really good look sweet. to him. It could be pretty cool. But it would be also cool if we got some sort of transforming casket for him. There's okay, this well, line. That... There's this line of like, they're like mystery search toys. I forget they're called like monster treasure or something like that. They come in a casket that is appropriately sized for this. Treasure and like you X. dig around in the slime and you can find, there's like a one in a billion chance you can find some actual gold. Otherwise it's like, costume jewelry is that like treasure x i don't know i know I buy my yes that. it's that thing it's got a, I, it's a purple casket anyway i thought i would get one and like spray it black for this or something there you go. i'm googling that right after this because i want to do that too because he needs I a little have a link a I'll, I'll post it up for you oh my there, goodness there you go there you go he needs a casket he, so bad i yes, love vampires i love undead in general if we would undead are fantastic could have had the casket and then it would be in, in charge fifty dollars for it. This could have been a casket. The the packaging could have been a casket. It that could would have been. been. Yeah, I do love the VHS. I think it's really cool. But if it had been a casket, I would have still bought it. <laughs> no change. <laughs> no change. So yeah, we all seem to. Well, Christian, and I seem to really like it. Do you like it, Lucas? Did you really yes. get a strong impression? All right. Yeah. Okay. No. Um. No, I, th I think it's cool. Like, I again, I don't think I don't have a strong thing where it's like, oh, I absolutely have to have this for my collection. But like, I think it's cool for what it is. And again, like if it was something where it was more expensive, I don't know that I would have gotten it. But, you know, since it's a deluxe and since it's, you know, 30 and whatnot, it's like uh, it's it's kind of like right on the line. It, it, it would be. Yeah. Yeah. This is. It's probably how I felt about getting like the um, Ecto Buddy. What's his name again? Ecto Ectotron. Or well, Ectotron. Yeah. It's just well, no, that was a okay. Must, my name that was a say must it. buy right there. I mean, you know, if you and that wasn't for me. I, I would for say me, that, that if was you're a, this looks good. I still have an open mind because yeah. it was like, why did I do this? <laughs> and that's okay because it looks fantastic in the box. It does I mean, look really good at the box. Yeah. So I I would highly recommend. So yeah, if you're debating whether or not to spend your money on Ectotron or this, I would definitely say Ectotron. But but not Afterlife Ectotron because that one is not as good um, and was way more expensive. Uh, yeah. Ectotron was 35 True. 40 depending on where you were. And then Afterlife Ectotron was like 55 It's true. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Don't, don't do that. It went on clearance too, though, if you found it at the right place. Did it? Cause I like did not. I, I, I swear it sold out. Like it, it went on clearance at like two just... stores in Virginia. Oh okay. <laughs> there you go. So, anyway. but if there's, for me, I am not only a big fan of vampires in general, but I'm a really big Castlevania fan, 
So if anybody wants to make me a custom Belmont of any sort, any of the Belmont clan to go with this Dracula, I'll love you forever. That would be so cool. He really needs a Simon or a Richter to fight. It would be so cool. But uh, sorry, I just had to mix my fandoms there for a moment. I don't know what those things are. You know what Castlevania is, right? Video game series. I think it's a video game. That's all yes. I know. Played by ancient people like me when we were young. Oh, people in their 30s. <laughs> mm, people in their 30s. Oof. Gonna Phil, have to says learn about actor, it. Phil says Actortron has jumped in price, so I haven't looked lately. Yeah, I probably still wouldn't sell mine just because I do kind of like having an Ecto-1 toy. Like, I'm not a big enough Ghostbusters fan to really have an Ecto-1 toy, but... For all the nostalgia. A- and also your Back to the Future nostalgia as well. Uh, yeah, I still haven't watched that at all. At least I've seen Ghostbusters now. They're both classic movies. Um, hey, book, book club I have week. seen Dracula at least. <laughs> <laughs> is going to be the the holiday special. That's going to be Sunday night on the TF Talk Discord. That's an adorable uh, issue. Nine nine thirty Eastern, eight thirty Central. Um, then twelve twenty six is going to be Hearts of Steel, and then one two is going to be the Revolution Micronauts. Um, what is it? Revolution Micronauts Cliff Notes Revolution Zero and One. I don't know what. Okay, quite the list there. Nonsense. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for providing such a big list, Randall. That's helpful. So, so there you go. So, if you're trying to plan out your uh, holiday reading and, and for showing up during during break and whatnot, um, th- there we go. So, all right. Well, um, I guess do we have anything else we want to say before we wrap? Are we here next week? Do we have one more? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? We could. I don't, care, I, can't. I don't care. I don't care. I got nothing going the, on. So the regular show, I know we're gonna do. Oh, you know, I may not be able to make next week, so we'll we'll have to talk, we'll talk we'll, about. We can we'll, always cover we'll this travesty. I don't. I don't have oh, that boy. one yet. Oh. So, but uh, but yeah, I know we will have the regular TFLP this week. Um, so check that out. It's gonna be our top figures of the year. Um. So there we go. But all right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, to Randall, to Phil, to uh, Catherine, to Ron, and to Jacob earlier. So, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week. See you later.